Well, hello YouTube. My name is Flying Matthew, and I have currently entered into my dedicated period for uh, preparing for Step One. But the main problem that I am facing right now is I am hardly able to average between five to six hours of study each day, let alone uh, let alone study for ten to twelve hours that the real good scores actually study for. But I am hoping that I'll make strides in it uh, in the days to come. Um, uh, but uh, the thing that I have inculcated into my study schedule is actually uh, solving questions each and every day. Uh, well, uh, solving a whole block is kind of an overstretch for me uh, since I have just uh, begun. So what I Uh, what i'm doing right now is i am at least trying to solve uh, 20 to 25 questions each and every day and if you have been following me uh, from the previous videos you would know that i have been using the amboss cube bank and uh, the motive behind making this video was because uh, i wanted to let you know that the user interface of the amboss has these uh, really beautiful resources in it which uh, which is uh, helping me as a uh, as a beginner test taker to properly identify those pointers uh, given in the question stem and to use them and to uh, correctly point out uh, the correct option uh, from all the area of options that are provided uh, in the q in the in the questions uh, so today i actually recorded uh, me doing two questions from the amboss q bank and uh, uh, in in the in the in the further moments to come i'm going to show you how the uh, how the interface actually helps us reaching uh, that correct options so without further ado uh, let's proceed to the video Amboss uh, user interface. If you were to log in uh, from your web browser, and if you were to log in into your account, so uh, this is uh, a slightly different from the from the user interface that you will see if you are using the Amboss application of QBank in your uh, phone or um, uh, in my case in your iPad. So uh, I'll give you some time. I'll give you some seconds to go through the questions. It says uh, a 58 year old woman is brought to the emergency department for shortness of breath and chest pain. Pulmonary angiography shows a large saddle embol embolus in the pulmonary arteries. Emergency drug therapy is administered and she is admitted to the hospital for observation. A follow-up CT scan of the chest shortly after admission shows that the thrombus has disappeared. Five hours later, the patient is found to be lethargic with slurred speech. Physical examination shows decreased consciousness, dysarthria, and optic disc swelling bilaterally. Which of the following is the most likely cause of the neurological symptoms? So uh, I have been able to identify some pointers uh, through the questions uh, that will lead me towards a certain pathology uh, because of which uh, these neurological symptoms have manifested. But now, if you were a beginner, if you were still uh, like I'm sorry, I am a beginner as well. Uh, but if you're totally new to this concept and you wanted to know and you wanted to learn what are all the points that are actually pointing you towards a certain pathology. Uh, for that the amboss interface is really really helpful uh, in this case uh, you can see there is this uh, attending tip right beneath the uh, question uh, question so if i were to press that it will reveal a certain point this patient has most likely been given a thrombolytic agent for a massive pulmonary embolism and right together with that there is a, a point uh, there is a tab called key info if i if i were to press that it will underline the text in the question which is directly pointing towards the certain pathophysiology so it has underlined emergency drug therapy is administered and decreased consciousness dysarthria optic disc swelling bilaterally so i know that uh, the patient uh, uh, the, the patient has now developed this neurological symptoms because of the drug that was administered uh, for the uh, large embolus in the pulmonary artery so uh, most probably it's a um, uh, pl uh, plasminogen activator and uh, i think uh, the plasminogen activators have uh, caused the uh, caused the breakdown of all the uh, 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 fibrinogen and uh, fibrin and uh, this may also result in an uh, intra cerebral bleed so if we have an option for that uh, we can see there is an intra cerebral hemorrhage so this is uh, so so this information i was able to uh, gather through the the through the points that were highlighted and through the attending tip so uh, that is the answer uh, intracerebral hemorrhage is severe but uh, rare complication of thrombolytic therapy that is alteplase or uh, streptokinase which this patient most likely to receive for her acute saddle pulmonary embolism thrombolytics increase the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin and also result in increase in pt and ptt in this case the thrombolytic uh, adequately dissolved the thrombus but also led to hemorrhagic stroke and increase the 
ICD as evidenced by her change in the mental status and papilledema. So this is how the uh, UI works. <coughs> uh, if you also wanted to see if uh, how many people got this option right, you can uh, click the answer statistics button and here, here you can see that 62% of your peers answered the question rightly. So, uh, so now you can also see that uh, some of these uh, texts are underlined as well. So these are, uh, these will work like a uh, hyperlink. So if I wanted to know um, uh, as in uh, what group does streptokinase belong to and what does streptokinase do and how does, uh, how did this uh, treatment for the large sandal embolus uh, result in bleeding intracerebrally? So I can, uh, I can press on streptokinase and then it will lead me to the AMBOSS knowledge app. So uh, this is the amboss knowledge and the page there it led to uh, here you can see what streptokinase is and how does it help in fibrinolysis so here you can see this text so this is how the ui works and it's really helpful uh, in your pre-dedicated period and even in your dedicated period as well because it helps you it it, it makes you understand how to actually answer a question, how to look forward and how to look for the uh, most important pointers that are in your uh, question stem and uh, to get it the best uh, answer from all the explanations. So here, let me uh, run you through another example. Uh, the question reads, a 65 year old woman comes to the physician because of a three month history of progressive shortness of breath and dry cuff. She has also noticed gradual development of facial discoloration. She has coronary artery disease, hypertension and atrial fibrillation. She does not remember which medication she takes. Her temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, pulse is 90 per minute, respiration uh, rate is 18 per minute. The BP is 150 by 85 mmHg. Pulse oximetry on room air shows an oxygen saturation of 95. Examination shows blue gray discoloration of both the hands and face. Diffuse inspiratory crackles are heard. An X-ray of the chest shows reticular opacities around the lung periphery and particularly around the lung basis, most likely cause of this patient's finding is an adverse effect to which of the following medications. So uh, before making this video, I've already attempted, the, attempted this question. So what happened was I was uh, quick to grab that one point uh, which said uh, this progressive uh, shortness of breath and dry cuff. So I thought uh, due to her uh, hypertension, she may be taking an ACE inhibitor and that's why i ran for the lisinopril without uh, considering the whole question stem and that came out to be wrong so uh, if your first attempt is wrong what the question does is that it automatically reveals the attending tip here you can see the attending tip has been revealed, revealed and the key info is also revealed so uh, in the key info the highlighted uh, sentences are the three month history of progressive shortness of breath and dry cuff together with atrial fibrillation Examination shows a blue-gray discoloration of the face and both hands as well as diffuse inspiratory crackles. Uh, the attending tip reads that the x-ray findings are uh, uh, shows uh, uh, with the dry cuff and shortness of breath and inspiratory crackles are consistent with the pulmonary fibrosis. An adverse effect of a medication commonly used for one of her pre-existing conditions. So uh, I think I remember that uh, amiodarone uh, uh, is given for the atrial fibrillation and it, and it is known to cause a pulmonary fibrosis. So the next option that I went for was amiodarone and here it read that amiodarone is an antiarrhythmic drug that treats atrial fibrillation. Though it also has several adverse effects in many organs, pulmonary toxicity can manifest as a pulmonary fibrosis, is responsible for most, most death, uh, deaths associated with amiodarone therapy and correlates with total cumulative loss. So you get the total idea. Uh, how the UI works and how, how this uh, this is really helpful in the pre-dedicated period. Uh, uh, in the uh, in the left, uh, you can read the custom session from April 24, 10 a.m. Uh, I have reached the third by uh, I've uh, I'm making a question. Uh, I'm solving a question of uh, question bank of ten questions right now. You can also see a hammer uh, down at the uh, right side of the question stem. So the number of hammers actually represent the difficulty quotient of the question. So if you have heard that AMBOSS is really, really, really difficult and it will throw it throws you into depression. So uh, that is because some of the questions have four to five hammers uh, next to the question. So that is the difficulty range. And uh, here you can see that there is only single hammer and two hammers. Uh, for the questions that were solved before. So uh, the uh, difficulty ranges, but the main thing is 
that after reading the question and the stem and using the attending tip and the key info uh, the amboss ui actually guides you uh, uh through the question and actually helps you how to uh, pick the right answers from the list of the wrong answers so as well so you can see that they were actually uh, uh seven uh, seven options for the question here but if you if you know how to approach the questions if you if you knew that uh, a drug for a uh, drug given for atrial fibrillation is amiodarone and amiodarone uh, from the uh, x-ray findings we have seen that uh, there is pulmonary pulmonary fibrosis so you can you would not be uh, you would not be dazed by all the options that are given here because you would know the answer uh, and the answer will be on your tip and you will select the right answer from this so uh, thank you uh, i hope this video was uh, helpful to you have a great day ahead